Hello guys, this is Play9 here. Today we're going to be looking at a match that I play with Orphea. And in this match, I think I had uh, maybe 17 kills or something. So it's a nice uh, match to share. Alright, so we're going against uh, Quera, Grammy, Endwin, Chromi, and uh, Moradin. I'm playing Quera. We have uh, Medivh, we have Varian, we have Anna, or Anna, we have uh, Fro, and uh, this match is about 19 minutes long, or no, it's 18 minutes and 20 seconds. And uh, I want to fast forward this, but I don't know. I don't want to make long, extremely long videos. So, let's try to follow this a little bit. Alright, we got NFI here now. I'm a little bit AFK. As usual. Come in, do some damage, do some chumps. Hitting them with my watts and almost killed him more right in there. He left, but the Ana got him with the uh, passive damage proccing from her basic attacks. So I went close. My Aquara is very aggressive. I went close and I got uh, my. I'm not playing Aquara. I'm playing uh, Orphea. My Ophia is very aggressive and uh, Quera hooked onto me and I went, I took her in and then we finished her. Anyways. Gotta clean something up here. This match was very interesting. Right now we're getting camps. I'm gonna click on her and focus. So seeds are about to spawn. Chromie is here, I ganked her. Oof, I thought she was gonna go behind me, but she didn't. She went towards the gate. And I missed that chump there. When you are playing Quora, you have to predict where the players is gonna be. Um, this is why Quora is the hardest champion to play in this game, because if you miss one of your talents, well, your most important talent, if you miss it, that's it for you. For like, I don't know, five seconds or whatever until that talent cools down. So you have to make sure all of your attacks land. Otherwise, uh, yeah, like that, if you miss like that, it's going to take forever for you to get your, your damage started again. And it can pretty much lead to your death in my case. So I got killed there. Grammy is doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna lose this first objective here. I respawn, I head back up, new objective is coming up. I'm 
towards the objective I wish I can just enable this uh, follow camera follow thing I gotta eat my food where is the keyboard mouse where's the enable camera follow there you go all right Now I can just talk and just eat. Screaming Dovin, he got killed. You have a level advantage right now. Doing camp Quora is not good for camps, but I gotta do camps anyways. Cause we don't have a. Uh, no physical DPS. <laughs> like a uh, Grammy or something like that. So, I ult here, what a beautiful stun and an ult for me, <laughs> and I just went in and started killing him, it was very amazing, probably want to watch that again, a little cut right here. So, I'm gonna maybe try to see what happened with this stun, alright, the stun came from the uh, on the Anna there and now I would have pick up the Moradin and then I think I picked up the other guy but <coughs> the kill went over to uh, Nadif but that was a beautiful wipe with us having that 10 level 10 lead there and now we, uh, we have a little bit of confidence because of that match, that um, fight.
I need money, bro. Recording. All right, guys. So yeah, pretty much after that, after that team fight in the middle there, we just we just took it far. Like there was no way these guys were gonna catch up with us after that dominant display right there with that stun and that ult. It was just really nasty, and they just they just couldn't take it anymore. It was just way too aggressive and just way too dominant. We just we just over just subdue them like it was just way too much it's just so much superiority shown out there and just they just couldn't handle us anymore they just gave up they just caved in and they folded like like a t-shirt they just there was just no way they could come back after that <clears throat> I'll let you guys watch the rest. I mean, he's going to die. And I think the Chromie is almost going to die too. <laughs> I just missed her by a hair of my teeth. By the teeth on my hair and the hair on my teeth. That's how much I missed her. So you guys want to see the score? You guys, uh, 
just hungry to see that score. Yeah, yeah, you want to see that score? Yeah, yeah, you like you like seeing scores, huh? You 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 want to see the score? Okay, there's the score. And here's the build. It's the same old build I made a video I used when I was making a video for Quora earlier, like the tutorial god video. <clears throat> Up a boy. One thing you gotta remember to you to do is to consume your stack. That's something uh, I've been uh, slacking on lately. Like my fingers get tired when I'm clicking. Like it's just too much work when you have just so much you have to do with this little girl. Like so much fucking clicking, bro. I just click every fucking time. My entire body is in pain. But I still have to click so much work, maintenance, just so much maintenance with this Quera girl. Just too much. And that's why it's hard to play Quera. <laughs> I don't think I have 17 in this one, but maybe 9 or 11 kills. I think it's 11 kills. I, I, I pick up like maybe two more before the match end but I, I probably have a 17 kills match in uh, my video history here Remy is gonna die maybe the chroming too that's 11 there and I think that's it maybe I will die too I don't know but I swear I had a 17 kill match in my history. I just ball for something. Now we're gonna on this score. I'm gonna sneak around. that anyways that's the match i'm probably gonna upload it 17 kills after or something i'm not sure but some people want to see simuro and uh i'm gonna quit this replay anyways the simuro bill i made still is is still relevant there hasn't been any change with uh the build the only change that has happened so far was uh the uh, uh herf the d with similar like herfing and like switching and stuff i think that got fixed or something it wasn't a, a known skill for him it was just a bug that the developers were just slacking on and then they fixed it um anyway similar is a melee character like valera and Valera has stun and stuff. Simuro does not have stun. He got clone. So the way you play him is you don't really rely on stealth. You rely on uh, being elusive. 
so i play simuro like the same video i share with you guys it's an illusion master build if you cannot play illusion master you probably shouldn't be playing simuro um anyways most people play him and uh a con contradictory or contrarian way it's like playing him as as a as a lane clearer and they use the different alt at level 10 they just use the spinning alt to, to kill minions faster um anyway Simuro is uh it's an assassin as you can see here it's an assassin and uh i still use the same old build that i use with him he's an assassin as I keep saying, therefore he's supposed to be used as an assassin, melee assassin. He's not a, a lane clear. Um, Mercury here is a assassin, but he also clear lanes. So maybe people can play him like that. Maybe Illidan as well. I guess all of these characters can be used to clear lanes. Uh, Zera 2 too can also be used to like split and clean lanes. So in Hero of the Storm, the way you play Assassin is, is extremely different from how you will play Assassin in any game where Assassins are usually just used to clear lanes. Um, so melee Assassins, for the most part, they are used to that clean up lane. I guess all the Assassins are used to clean up lanes. So yeah, if you're playing him that way, that's fine. But the video that I made was about playing him the way you actually play him as in the definition of um, Semuro. Like what is, if you were to ask what really is Semuro, like defining him as a character, right? Um, in, within this game context, basically he's a character that plays with illusion, that plays to be tricky and, and plays to be... Um, like an assassin in a sense he's now a lane clearer like uh like you won't say a bruiser in a sense right he's not a bruiser that goes around and clear lanes and like do stuff like that he's an assassin he goes in for kills that's what assassins do and uh he's supposed to be roaming and he's supposed to be uh going in for kills and being sneaky and stuff like that that's what his character is now if you go to Zera 2, right, this character is uh, it's an assassin as well, but his definition pretty much is about uh, quick reflex, <clears throat> quick reflex and uh, uh, positioning before initiation, right, that's how he, that's what defines him, it's not even how he, he plays, that's how he's defined, that's what, when you say Zera 2, what is Zera 2? That's the definition of Zera 2. You have Alarak here. Alright, this one is control and burst. Right? He controls by pulling people in. He does burst damage with his whatever ability that he use. And then this guy. How do you define Illidan? Illidan is a stick to it type uh sustain uh assassin. He goes in and he usually stays in until he either die or <laughs> the enemy dies. And that's the definition of the Illidan. Right? So, he's also like a, a push lane clearer and stuff like that. So, all of these assassins are lane clearers. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I'm going to end the uh, recording here. Bye-bye. Uh,